Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, subscribe, folks, comment, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank you folks for liking, watching, and sharing my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link to you down below. Has the links to all my social media platforms. Please go down there. Follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I'll talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages, and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Listen, folks, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, I'll be doing a live radio show. I take live callers. We'll be talking about quite a bit, okay? We'll be talking about the Jets' recent game. We'll be talking about the Jets' upcoming game. It's going to be a show. Call in. I take live callers. I love going back and forth with you folks about this football team. Now, with that said and done and put to the side, Ah, come to talk to you folks today about the New York Jets <laughs> taking a loss to the Chargers on Monday night, 27 to 6. 27 to 6, the Jets lost, okay? At home, at MetLife. And this was a rough one. This was a rough one because the Jets defense played well. They played very well, as usual, right? Now, there were some rough goals. There were some missed tackles by the defense here and there, right? Especially starting the game. They're, but they played well, okay? They got all over Herbert. They sacked him five times. Will McDonald had a sack. Huff was getting in there. We saw Quentin Johnson get in there. I mean, this defense played well. Sauce played well. All of it. Our offense was horrible, okay? And so I wanted to show the defense love early because they took care of business. This is not on the defense at all. The Jets' offense was putrid. They were putrid, okay? Horrible. Zach Wilson <laughs> was 33 of 49 on a day. He had 263 yards throwing the football. He was sacked eight times. <laughs> he was sacked eight times. Against the Chargers. Bosa, Khalil Mack, other guy, they had a field day. A field day. Okay? In those sacks, he fumbled three times. Strip sacks. One of those strip sacks was early. He fumbled three times and lost two of the fumbles. The Jets' offense is what lost this football game for the team. Flat out. All right. Special teams did give up. A 80-plus yard return for a touchdown early, which sucked. But the Jets' offense was terrible. And I know people want to put it on Zach Wilson. Was he phenomenal? No, he wasn't. But you can't really necessarily put all of the blame on him or even most of the blame of the lack of, a lack of success offensively squarely on him because it seems like, right, nobody knows how to block, particularly on the right side. This Jets offensive line was horrific. It was horrific. It was horrific. I have no clue whose idea it was to take Billy Turner and put him at right tackle and put Max Mitchell, who generally, usually is at right tackle, and put him at right guard. Whose idea was that? Whose idea was that? That was the worst idea ever. Billy Turner was at guard last week. They should have put him back at guard. Billy Turner was getting abused all game long by Bosa, by Mack, by whoever was over there. They feasted on the right side of the Jets line. Lakin Tomlinson also got destroyed too, drugged back into Zach as well. This line, outside of McCoy Beckton, they were terrible. This line cannot block. And won't block. Like I said, Mac and Bosa, field day on the right side. Field day. Couldn't get anything going because Zach constantly had pressure in his face. Constantly. Speaking of pressure, man, must be a lot of pressure to be able to make plays for the Jets if you're at wide receiver. Especially if you're Garrett Wilson. Because you're the only guy that can do anything. Garrett Wilson is the only guy at receiver that can do anything here. It's just him. 
Our big playmakers, dynamic guys, is either Garrett Wilson or Brees Hall. Everybody else, pedestrians. They're just pedestrian. Now, Garrett Wilson had a fumble early as well. And this is why I'm saying everybody wants to put everything on Zach. Garrett Wilson had a big fumble early as well that set the Chargers up. But he was seven catches on the day, and he had 80 yards. He's the only guy that can do anything out there wide receiver. Alan Lazard? Brother, this guy couldn't catch a cold. He can't catch anything. He was dropping balls left and right. And when he wasn't dropping balls, <laughs> it was penalties. Killing us. Brees Hall has a big play, gets called back because of Lazard. Brees Hall also had another big play that came off a pass he took off, and it was called back because of Garrett Wilson blocking in the back. It was ridiculous. We even saw C.J. Uzama. C.J. Uzama drop a touchdown. Wide open in the end zone in garbage time. Guys can't catch. Guys just can't do anything. If you're not Brees Hall, or if you're not Garrett Wilson at wide receiver, there's nothing you can do. You just stand around. You're just a pedestrian. I talked about the penalties. Boy, the Jets just continuously causing self-inflicted wounds. Last week, the Jets had nine penalties. And I was talking to different Jets fans, and they said, Joe, that's not going to be something that's going to keep on going. Really? The Jets had eight penalties in this game for 40 yards. We killed ourselves over and over and over again with dumb penalties. We shot ourselves in the foot. We stopped our drives. We absolutely destroyed ourselves. Here's, here's, here's one instance. It was third and three. The New York Jets were at the Chargers' 32-yard line, right? Jeremy Rucker comes out, gets a false start, pushes his back. Lake and Thomason gives up a sack. Next thing you know, <laughs> we're punting from the 45 out of field goal range. No nothing. Just, just killed ourselves on that drive, a drive that looked like it was going to pay dividends. Nothing. Because we shot ourselves in the foot with a penalty to start it off and gave up a sack. The Jets were awful on offense. Awful. Lazard, awful. Awful. Everybody, <laughs> just awful. The offensive line, awful. Awful. The play calling, awful. Decision making, awful. It was just bad. It was a joke. It was a joke. This was an embarrassing, embarrassing display by the Jets offense. It's putrid. And what's so sad about all of this, and usually I come to y'all, you know, with, I, I just can't. <laughs> because what's so sad about this is the Jets defense clearly is a Super Bowl caliber defense. And we're just wasting it. <laughs> we're wasting it. Just throwing it away. We have guys here that are on this defense, like Sauce. Guys are in their primes. We're just wasting their primes. A guy like Huff, who we, who knows if he's going to actually be a Jet next year. I hope to all that is good that he is a Jet next year. We're just wasting his time because this offense is not producing anything at all. Even when the Jets defense is playing lights out, the Jets offense is giving you nothing. I don't know. I don't know what needs to happen, but something needs to change fast about this Jets offense. Because it is horrific. Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. I don't even want to talk about this Jets offense anymore. It is so disgusting. Comment down below. Let's go back and forth. You folks have a good one. Peace.